update on Hurricane Norman, which is drawing possibly uncomfortably close to the Hawaiian Islands, now a Category 3 still, with winds of 115 miles per hour, a pressure of 962 millibars. At 11 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time this September the 5th, it was 19.6 degrees north, 148.5 degrees west and a stage 5 on the CDPS scale, which means that if the storm was to make a landfall, it would be devastating. Uh, although that is the case, we don't expect it to make landfall or indeed get particularly close to the islands, but we are watching out just in case. 429 miles from Hilo, 525 from Kahului, and 618 miles from Honolulu. Uh, no warnings in effect at this time, but for the first time on their latest update, the, the uh, Central Pacific Hurricane Center uh, say that interest in the Hawaiian Islands should continue to monitor this storm. If it does deviate to the south, there may be tropical storm force winds, or at the very least, some rainfall. Well, let's see if we can see how much rain falls on Hawaii according to the models at the moment. Looking into the end of the week, you can see a little bit associated loosely with the system affecting the islands on Friday, but Norman's expected to curve quite abruptly towards the northwest, and over the weekend it looks like very little will occur on the islands, although there may be a little bit here and there, especially uh, in elevated locations. You can see it leaving the area on Monday, and then look at this, this is very curious. The GFS model is one of the models thinking that Olivia, which is behind Norman, will end up impacting Hawaii in the middle part of next week. The official stance uh, disagrees with that at the moment. Sea surface temperatures are around 27 degrees Celsius, and if the storm follows the forecast track, uh, that will be the case for about three days before it uh, goes down. So this is what we expect in terms of the wind field. The green areas being tropical storm force winds, gale force winds that is. Uh, into the end of the week you can see it staying way off land. Uh, also helpful that the northern side of the storm has the most winds and the southern side has a very small radius for winds. So if it, uh, you know, if it goes anywhere north of a straight line, Norman will probably miss the islands with storm force winds. But then you look at this in the background uh, afterwards into Tuesday and Wednesday, there's Olivia impacting the big island of Hawaii. That's not set in stone though at all yet. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds from Norman. 10% in Hilo, which is the highest we've seen so far from the storm. 9% in Kahului and Molokai. 7% in Honolulu and 3% in Kauai. And these are what the models have been saying. Uh, this is not actually current, they've not been working for quite some time actually. Uh, one or two models did foresee this new peak from Norman that had occurred in the last few hours. It reached 115 miles an hour, category 3 once again. It's the third comeback that Norman has achieved in its rather durable lifespan so far. And sea surface temperature is still going to keep it significantly intense. Uh, for the next few days and it looked really good earlier now looking start starting to look a little bit less uh, good certainly more ragged in these last few frames and you can see it quite clearly here on the satellite imagery in the face of all that dry air which is probably going to give it the main uh, share of problems um, I didn't quite check that wind shear graphic there I assume it's at least in the moderate levels by now and that will probably uh, be a degenerative factor for the storm if not, it will definitely be the sea surface temperatures that kill it off as we enter days 3 to 5. That's all for now. We'll have more updates if anything changes. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page and subscribe for the latest on there as well. Uh, under the same name, you can also find our Facebook page and also at Force 13 on Twitter, all in text, uh, so you have plenty of options. You can also help the project become even better by becoming one of our many patrons. You can find more information of how to help us and also see what the benefits are by going to patreon.com forward slash Force 13. You can also add Force 13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat and also my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.